Hey guys, Symmetry U is back, and this is a TAM that I made over a year ago, I think it's been probably. This TAM, it might have been one of the first TAMs I ever made. You will notice that this TAM does not, one, have a brim, and it also doesn't have a drawstring. And the cool thing about these TAMs is that you can always add a drawstring and a brim if you want later. So, in today's video, I'm going to be adding a drawstring. Something that I've noticed with my TAMs is that over time they may become a little warped, you know, just from me opening them up to put them over my locks. They get a little bit stretched out and so a drawstring is a really good thing to add to them because then you can control how loose they fit on your head. So. Uh, yeah, let's add this drawstring. To crochet this drawstring, all you're going to need is a crochet hook. And this is letter I, 5.5 millimeters. Obviously, a pair of scissors to cut the string or yarn. And then, yeah, so yarn. I'm using black yarn because if you look at my tam, it has black, black in it, like rows of black. And uh, I just thought having a black drawstring will kind of bring out the black in the tail. With this type of yarn, you're always going to have two tails. One actually comes from the inside and it just pulls and you can pull on it and pull on it and unravel the whole skein. The other tail, the other end, comes from the outside so you could just wrap, wrap it around and you see now you unravel the skein that way. I usually like to, when I'm just using a skein, I like to use the inside one so that my skein is not rolling all over the place. It just gets kind of annoying. I like it, prefer it to be stationary. Uh, but, you know, people do other things. Some people will unravel the whole skein and roll it into a ball so that it actually rolls around more easily. <laughs> but for this one, normally we would just take one of these ends, right, do a slip knot and then chain but I want to make my drawstring a little bit thicker so I'm going to be using both tails basically so I'm going to join them together like this and just tie you know do my normal slip knot so they're together normal slip knot like that put my crochet needle in Tighten it, and now I'm going to chain 100 of these bad boys. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to I'm going to continue chaining until I get to 100. The number of chains that you create corresponds to the length. I feel like 100 is a good a good starting place. You may want to make fewer or more chains. I guess it depends on how wide the, the tam is and also how long you want the drawstring to hang. But I think 100 is, is sufficient for me. So let me get to chaining these and I'll be back after I have completed 100. So just to give you an idea, this is 50 chains. Okay. So I'm going to chain 50 more of these to total 100 and then I'm going to fit it to the Tam and see how it fits and then I'll decide at that point if I need to make more chains or if it's too long. I can tell you now it won't be too long so if anything I might need to make more than a hundred chains. Okay so just kind of placing this 100 chain drawstring around the perimeter of the Tam I see that I definitely have, have enough drawstring to go around right? And but at the end, I'm only going to have like these little bitty tails. So I'm going to crochet at least 50 more chains just to have a sizable drawstring. All right, I have chained 50 more, so I have 150 chains now, and that will be sufficient. So now I'm going to cut off the end. So we'll just cut and then. I will pull that the yarn through and the hook out like that. Pull tight. And then just as an extra precaution, I'll tie a little knot. 
like that, pull tight. So now I'm going to just use one tail of the yarn, okay? So here's the one tail, I wrapped it back around because I no longer need it. It was just to thicken up the drawstring. And now we're just going to crochet with this. So I'm going to find the back of the tail. This is the back right here. That's where, essentially where my, I want my drawstrings to come out at. So I'm going to line them up at the back like that. Okay. And now you see all these stitches, these top stitches along it. Basically I'm going to go in the tops of them and crochet this black yarn in and around this. I'm going to lay this on top of that stitch and I'm going to crochet the black yarn around it. So let me show you what I mean. So these top stitches right here, I'm going to go in them just below the head. And then with this yarn, I'm going to create a slip knot. And then we're going to pull that through like that. And then we'll tighten it with the other string like that. So we have the yarn that's coming from the skein on the other side. And then we have our loop on this side. And now we want the drawstring to be in between the needle and the yarn that's coming from the skein over there. And this is how we're going to crochet over it. Okay, So we're going to wrap. And you got to kind of keep tugging at that to keep it tight. So I would wrap and then chain just to kind of keep it there like that. Okay. And now we're going to keep doing that. We're going to keep going into the top of these stitches. Okay. So we're just going to do single crochets which means you go into the stitch. So go into the very next stitch. And it might be a little tight. Like I said I've crocheted this months ago and then washed it and stuff. Okay, I'm going to yarn over and pull that yarn through. So now I have two loops. I'm going to wrap and this is where I start to crochet over the drawstring and then I'm going to pull through like that. And that's a single crochet. Okay, I'm going to go in to the next stitch. Wrap or yarn over, it's the same thing, yarn over pull that yarn through the stitch now yarn over and pull through those two stitches go into the next stitch you guys see that I'm going through okay I want to wrap mm -hmm. pull through yarn over and pull through one two okay I'm just gonna continue doing this all the way around all the way around the town and this is going to essentially attach the drawstring to the town okay so you guys can can, can kind of see now and I'll be able to pull this drawstring because it's under these stitches now okay it's hard to tell because the stitches are black and this is, you know, the drawstring is also black, but it's under there, okay? So just trust me on that if you can't see it. Um, so yeah, let me finish this and we'll go all the way around and I'll meet you once I'm back on this side. I'm going to go all the way around until I get back here and then I'll show you how to finish it. Alright, so I just have a couple more stitches you see. I've gone pretty much all the way around. So, go in. See, I'm going in in the top, and then I want to yarn over, pull that yarn through, yarn over, and see now this is when it starts to go over the drawstring. This yarn over and pull it through, and that puts it under it. And I have one more stitch. All right. So now. 
what I want to do is um, I'm just going to chain one cut my yarn and then pull that through I can tie a knot if I want just to make sure and then I will at some point feed this through these stitches so that it's not visible but essentially now I have now I have a tam with a drawstring. Okay, so now I can pull these and pull these through, and you see how it tightens it. Pull it over here. You see how it tightens it, right? And then I can stretch the tam out. Okay. And now I never have to worry about my tam becoming too too big or too distorted or stretched out from my head I can control how it fits now because of these two drawstrings alright let me uh, get rid of these eyesores alright I have kind of evened out my drawstring I've hidden away those strands those tails of the black um, you can check out one of my how to crochet your own tam videos to see how to tuck away those stray or rogue uh, strings so that's not as much of an eyesore and then the last thing I want to do just because I have an OCD where symmetry is concerned I like it to be as symmetrical as possible so right here these strings are of different lengths so I'm just gonna cut them so now I have the same amount hanging <laughs> down on each side but yeah this is my tam with the drawstring so if you've made a tam and it doesn't have a drawstring and maybe it's becoming warped and you want to add a drawstring this is how you can do it and it's very easy I hope this tutorial was helpful and yeah stay tuned for more crochet tutorials as well as the dreadlock videos have a great day